Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. So legislation has recently been put on the table of the House of Commons that has to deal with medically assisted death. Now, in principle, I support medically assisted death, but there's something very troubling and deeply problematic with what's currently sitting on the table. What's currently sitting on the table in the House of Commons is basically um, legislation that equates uh, disability as a condition warranting assisted suicide. And unfortunately, the general way that they're doing this is that um, government workers would, you know, in times of potential crisis for people who have a disability, mental or physical, might be pushed towards, well, have you considered just killing yourself? And that's not hyperbolic to say, and that is beyond fucked up. The government right now is tabling legislation that would basically try and ever so gently push disabled people to kill themselves to get rid of them being such a burden on Canadian society. And I touched on this before in my Capitalism Makes Life Hell for Disabled People video about how disabled people are not given enough money to really live off of, so their struggles are twofold. Beyond having to deal with their disability, they also have to deal with forced poverty, basically. So beyond these two, you know, things that are basically making disabled people become caught between a rock and a hard place, this also means that with this legislation as it's proposed, many might just think, well, you know what? Yeah, geez, maybe I should just kill myself and make things easy, which is not what should be happening. They should be getting the support that they need. They should be getting better funding. They should be getting access to services, medication, therapy. What also makes this worse is that apparently every single member of the NDP voted in favor of this. Now, I'm hoping they voted in the sense of just sheer dumbfounding ignorance and not outright maliciousness. I'm hoping that's the case. But who genuinely knows? You really can't tell with politicians these days. But what's really pissing me off today is that this, this legislation, as proposed, is basically saying that some lives are not worth living. And that's really fucking dangerous because if it starts with disabled people for any kind of disability, what then next? You're depressed. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, you suffered um, a concussion, a slight injury. Oh, well, time to off yourself. It's the beginnings of a potentially slippery slope. And it comes at the expense of disabled people who are already put through enough trial and tribulation as it stands in Canada today. I've helped put this together with a few other disabled people off of Twitter who have wanted me to make sure that I talk about some of the key points. So I'll link some articles down below. Please read them. And... Also, listen to disabled people, because if they're telling you their lived experience, that is a valid thing to try and keep in your mind and to try and keep that perspective. I touched on this in another video. I don't even remember which one, but at a transit commission sort of thing, there was a um, paraplegic transit advocate there who was telling us about how the system works and how in many ways it's actually terrible. They still appreciate that there's any service, but we could be doing a lot better. But since we, the able body, don't see it or use it, we don't really know or understand what's going on. And do you think we all sat there and said, well, you know, that's just your opinion? Or did we actually sit and respect the voice 
of the person who took time out of their day to come here and be part of a presentation and to offer their lived experience on a service that directly impacts them and that they and the rest of us collectively pay for as a society. That's another thing, right? We are paying for this legislation, for this proposed service. We are indirectly paying for government and government officials to try and gently encourage disabled people to consider killing themselves. And that is beyond fucked up. That is downright evil. And it's happening here in good old jolly happy sunshine rainbows socialist Canada. So I need everyone to contact their MPs and get really pissed off about this. And I also need everyone to listen to disabled people and respect their voices and their lived experiences because that is something that they deal with and experience on a daily basis that we have no idea about. This is the same for people talking about their experiences with racism, poverty, injustice. So listen to disabled people when they tell you about something that is messed up and is going wrong and perhaps solutions to fix it. But this right here, this legislation that would equate assisted suicide with somehow lessening the burden that disabled people, you know, place on Canada, that is beyond horrifying. It is downright evil, and it is absolutely 100% completely what is bothering me today.